Okay, so it took me a while to get on board, but I am finally and officially a lover. Today, we're making sushi, you guys. You're gonna wanna stick around for this episode. and welcome back to Chef It Up, the show where we teach you how to cook some amazing dishes and introduce you to some awesome Bahamian chefs. And today we have Chef Avita Carey. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I love this purple lipstick you got going on. Thank you. Thank Pop you. In. Thank you. <laughs> and today she's going to teach me how to make sushi. Yes. And I was dreading when I got the email saying that we're going to make sushi today. I'm like, okay, how the heck am I going to make sushi? It's real simple. But I can see from the ingredients you have yes. here, it's really simple. Once you get oh. the rice going, get the uh, the ingredients, ingredients for the going fillings. and the fillings, you're good to go, right? All right. So we're going to jump on the rice right now. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse the rice. So okay. we're going to this add in so about, for the ratio of rice to water, you want to put in two cups of rice to three cups of water because it's going to cook through steam. Now what kind of rice do we use? We're uh, going to be sushi? using the short green rice. Yes. And we're, why we're using the short green rice is because of the starch content mm -hmm. and it's going to give us a really sticky rice and that's the final product that we want at the mm -hmm. end of the day. So we're going to rinse it off. And the purpose of rinsing the rice is because we want to remove all of that ac excess starch. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't move it, it's going to be really gooey and mushy, and that isn't what we want. We want the final texture to really be sticky, but Not we mush. want, yeah, we want to have the texture uh -huh. of the rice in there. And how important, I know, like, sushi, like, the rice content is, like, key to every kind of sushi that you eat, but how important it is to get that sushi right and perfect? Well, the main thing is just to get the balance. Uh-huh. The most important thing is the rice. Okay. So right now we already rinsed our rice. Uh -huh. And as you can see, I'm going to use my hand. We don't want it to come above the hand. This is somewhat of a guide, so you can see. You don't want too much water. Now can we use that trick in making ratio. any kind of rice? No, just the okay. sushi rice. <laughs> so okay. the sushi rice, put yes. your hand down, and once the water... Well, yeah, okay. so you don't want it to pass too far down. Okay. Even this, we can take a little, just a touch out. Uh -huh. Everybody's hands is different, so I tell persons I burnt a lot of rice to get this down back. Wow. So we're just going to use our hand as a guide mm -hmm. to the water to rice ratio. Okay. But normally it's, like I said, about two cups of rice and three cups of of water. Okay, perfect. Now, sushi, like I say, I thought it to be a very hard dish to make, but it, I think it's a specialty as well. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your culinary background. How did you get into making sushi? Well, I first learned how to do sushi when I was at a chef at Malia. I worked in Nike, the Japanese restaurant. Nice. My two mentors were Chef Juan and Chef Theodore Gordon, and they really showed me how to do sushi, and the rest was history. I've yeah. worked at a few restaurants and uh, different resorts, but sushi has always been my thing and I like to do it, so that's what I, I like nice. to specialize in. Okay. All right, so we've got our rice on and I'm gonna let you start the mango All right. reduction. So we're gonna peel our mango. We have our peeler mm -hmm. and we're gonna get that going so we can put that in the blender. I'm gonna get started okay. on our tartar filling. So let me start peeling this mango and this mango isn't so ripe. Is this how we want it? Yeah, once you do it, we're going to add sugar because we're just making a puree out of it, basically. Okay. Perfect. So this is, for one, this is for one of our fillings? Yeah, that's for one of the sauces for our sushi rolls. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, the term sushi itself, it means, su in Japanese means vinegar, and she means rice. So when persons mm. hear the term sushi, they always think of something that's raw, but yes. sushi actually means vinegared rice, and that's what we want to keep in mind. We per Bohemians are normally turned off, oh, I don't By, eat raw food. But, but we eat kung fao yes. all the time. So that isn't, <laughs> I always say that. That isn't what sushi is. Sushi is mainly, the most important thing is the rice, mm -hmm. and you have different types of sushi. You have right. the, the ones that we're making are hand rolls, and they are known as maki rolls 
or your maki rolls, which are just the same type of roll, but you have the rice on the outside instead of the inside. But like you say, a lot of people are afraid that, you know, every time they have the word sushi, it's just some raw food rolled up in yes, rice. Yes, so but it doesn't tell us, have to be raw. Right. Tell us about those kinds of sushi that we can get that can be deep fried, that can be cooked. So when we go out, you know, we yes. can kinda... Well, the deep fried rolls normally go on the tempura. Mm. And the tempura rolls is just a batter that they, which consists of equal parts flour to cornstarch, a little bit of club soda makes the tempura batter. And you're going to dip it in, whatever it is that you're frying, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be nice and crisp. And you, no, normally your favorite is the shrimp tempura. Persons yeah. normally go with that. But you can do basically anything you want tempura. It's just the batter itself and whatever is the main ingredient that makes the dish a shrimp tempura, lobster yeah. tempura, and so forth. So guys, you don't have to be afraid when you see sushi on the menu, when you go to you know sushi restaurants. You can get some that are cooked, like she said, or fried. So just now here, peeling, almost done peeling my mango. Yes. This smells so good. And she's over there cutting up some conch. Conch for our volcano roll. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so the volcano roll is just basically the conch with a little sriracha mayo. And what makes it a volcano roll is the heat, like That's an one explosion. Of the most popular, yes. One of the most popular uh, sushi rolls, too, on menus, right? But I wanted to keep it bohemian and really put the kung. People normally use shrimp uh -huh. and stuff. But I said, you know what, today we're going to try out a kung volcano roll. Nice. Okay. Yes. So was it hard, like, perfecting this technique to make sushi? Not really. I always had a thing for coal items. Ah. So I would do fruit carvings mm -hmm. and different things like that. Mm -hmm. So right now the sushi just was right up my alley. Right. I love doing carving. So the coal aspect of it, I can present and do garnishes yeah. and, you know, don't always have to be in the heat of the kitchen, although I do it when I need to. I think my passion really lies with the coal side of it. Okay. So it's something that I love to do. And I do it for myself now, and persons really seem to like it. Nice. It's really simple, and it gives Bahamian a way to feel that they can have sushi, except with all the fancy Exactly, outside. because it has become more of like lifestyle food, I'd like yes. to say. A lot of people go to sushi restaurants, you know, with friends or for dinner parties and stuff like that. But it could be a little down-home, yes. you know, uh, dish as well. So that's what we do. Awesome. And so you cater? Yes, I do sushi on the go. We target like a lot of offices and so forth. Mm -hmm. And we just do, these are the rolls actually, are the signature rolls that we do. The volcano, the spicy tuna, the California is a basic and the crab roll. So okay. it's our six, some of our starting off signatures. Mm -hmm. So that's why I chose those rolls to prepare the day. Okay. So we're gonna take the flesh off of the mango so we can start getting that pureed. You could okay. use a knife. <laughs> And let's get that peeled off. Just to take the flesh off of the Some mango, or if you want to come here, I'm just gonna flip the board over okay. you're using punk and get that the flesh off. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna puree that down with some sugar, a little jalapeno, give it a little heat. Awesome. All right. So just finishing off this mango hair, taking off some more of this flesh so we can puree this down. So do you make sushi at home for your friends and family? Yes, I do make sushi, but they don't really uh, Maybe like you can do this faster much. than I can. They yeah, don't? Okay. Maybe you can do this faster than All me. Right, Why no don't problem. they like it? Because they always think that it's raw. Mm-hmm. And... They don't really like the idea of the sushi thing because they think it's raw. So have you shown them the cooked of version? Of course I try. <laughs> I've, I, I've taught them a mm -hmm. little bit about it. But like I said, I think it's all about educating persons. Once you let them know it's not all about raw food, they're yeah. fine with it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to throw this in the blender and get that pureed. Okay. The blender's right behind. So. Awesome. Yeah. So what other types of food do you cook? Or what other types of culinary dishes do you prepare? Well, in terms of culinary dishes, I do a combination of hot food mm -hmm. as well as sushi. But like I said, the sushi is more so my specialty. Uh -huh. So It's interesting, too, I mean, for me to see a female, you know, in, yes. a, in a part of culinary that seems to be <laughs> male-dominated. Yes, it yes, seems like yes. a lot of guys are the guys behind, you know, in your favorite restaurants doing sushi, so... Just gonna let her blend that for a few seconds here. 
Okay, you guys, so we have um, our mango puree here. We just uh, sliced up some mango, put them in a the blender, and got this little creamy consistency going. And so in this pot, I'm gonna add this to a pot of jalapenos, just a couple of slices, and a little bit of water. So just pour this whole thing in. Sure, and you're gonna add a little bit of sugar. Okay, and so um, this is how we make our mango Mango puree. reduction for the crab roll. Okay, and so a little bit of how much sugar? My hands are heavy. About, you want, you want it a little sweet, nice and sweet, about half a cup. Tell me when to stop. Because <laughs> child, keep we going, keep syrup. going. All right, that's, that's good. good. Okay. Yeah. So, do I need to mix this up? Yes, you're going to skip that a little, sir. Okay. Just make sure the water gets in good with the mango. Okay, perfect. So again, just some blended mangoes, um, some slices of jalapeno pepper, some sugar, and just a touch of water. And yes. so... And we'll now we're going to get start. after you already have that on, you're going to get started on the crab salad. So just like you would do a, a, any regular crab salad, we're just mm -hmm. going to pick the crab, going to grab a little bowl. Okay. Whilst I work on the tuna tartare. And so you guys, we are busy here in the kitchen and that's because we are preparing three different yes. types of sushi, right? We're going to be doing a tuna and avocado. The other one is a volcano conch roll, mm -hmm. a California roll, and the crunchy crab roll. So tell us what you're doing over there. I'm just taking off the tuna. As you can see, it has the muscles, uh -huh. but we don't want that because when you bite and chew into it, it's kind of chewy and you want a smooth consistency. Uh -huh. So that's why we're trying to take out all the fibers so you don't have that type of, of toughness. When you bite into the tartare, you have a nice texture without all the chewiness inside of it. Okay. So you're taking all of that and out. And I am just picking apart some crab yes. for one of our other rolls. This is like the fun part here. And how's our okay. rice looking? Looking great. Just gonna put the lid on it. We don't wanna lose out the, all the steam. Right. To finish, cook it through. And again, with the rice, we're going for sticky and not yes, mushy. not mushy. <laughs> you guys, this is Chef It Up. We're making sushi today. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. Still in the kitchen with Chef Evito, and we are making sushi today. So let me just remind you guys what we have going on here. We have some crab that I just picked apart for one of our sushi. We have some mango reduction is what we're yes, calling it. for the crab roll. Okay, and up here we have some kong, some tuna, and she's just chopping up uh, some cucumber over there. And our rice that we started off with is almost done? Yes, in okay. a few minutes. All right, so what do we do next? So we're gonna jump into the filling, which we're okay. going to put in some spicy mayo, a little cream cheese, salt and pepper for so, our crab. Which goes in this one? The spicy mayo, okay. a little salt and pepper. Okay, so this is our sriracha mayo. Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this. So what's the secret, and can we kind of like switch up the fillings that we do for sushi, like make it kind of your own? Yes, you definitely you can. The sauces are just base sauces, for example, with the um, spicy tuna, you can mm -hmm. use spicy oil, infuse it with the mayonnaise, some persons like the sriracha, so it's more so what the consumer likes, mm -hmm. and you just manipulate those flavors to get the same end product, but you're just making a switch or two. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what it is, manipulation of ingredients, okay. but the outcome is the same. You want something spicy, but maybe you don't want it too spicy, maybe you don't want to use the sriracha, so it's all about what you like and how you can manipulate it to create what it is that you want. Okay, so in this, sriracha, salt and pepper. No, just a little bit of salt. No pepper? No. Okay, no you pepper. You got the sriracha meal. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So we're just going to mix this one up? Yes. Okay. All and right. we're going to do the same with the tuna mm -hmm. and the conch. Okay. Because the sriracha mayo has all the flavors inside of it. So we're just going to use that as more of a house dressing for all of the ingredients. So Give it the good. nice kick. Okay. Perfect. So when I sprinkle a little bit of salt, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you some scallions to put in there for nice flavor. So how can we kind of like make these 
uh, sushi, just a little bit more Bahamian. I know that we're doing some counted because like you said, you wanted to do mm -hmm. a little twist on it. So what other ingredients would you suggest we do and well, use? I would say you can always keep an open mind and be as creative as you like. Mm -hmm. You can use what's around, kong fish, instead of the tuna. Everyone know that we have grouper, we have snappers yeah. and stuff like that. So like I said, you just use the same base standard with most of the rolls and you manipulate the ingredients how you see fit. So that's what I normally do. Like for example, the volcano roll, most persons use shrimp, or most persons use shrimp and then yeah. their tempura roll. But to make it Bahamian, you can add conch or you can add crawfish. So it awesome. isn't really our culture, but we can make it our very own. I personally like to do a crock conch roll, so you can just Ooh, play with see, it. that sounds good. And make it your own, and that's what I try to do with most of the rolls that I prepare. And that's the thing, too, for, like, people who a may not may not really be into the whole sushi thing like me. Like I said, and you know, I'm just now, Spirit. maybe over the past two, three Stop years this. or so, that I've started to really get into sushi. But I just feel like every time I go... It's the same thing over and over yes. again. <laughs> no, you don't want that. And you maybe because I'm afraid to venture out on the menu, mm, maybe. Probably. I don't know. But you want to keep it, be open mind mm -hmm. as possible. You're going to do the same thing, a little sriracha mayo. Okay. Yes. But then if I do go to a sushi restaurant and I see scallions. like something interesting on the menu, maybe I'll try it, you know? Yeah, you can. Something Bahamian, maybe. So we put salt in this as well? Yeah, you want to put salt, salt in that. Make sure it's nicely seasoned. No black pepper again? No. <laughs> Why are we skip, skipping out on the black pepper? Because the pepper is going to come from the sriracha. We ah. don't want it to be a little, we don't want it to be too spicy. Ah. So we just going to hold off on the black pepper No Bahamians, if you like once you're using salt, <laughs> you got to be using black pepper right behind yes. it. Yes. <laughs> so. All right. So we are just mixing our fillings, you guys. Um, this one is the tuna with a little bit of sriracha mayo, a little bit of salt, and some scallions. And we did the same with our crab. And I like the fact that we're pretty much using the same ingredients for all of our fillings, yes. just switching out on the meat, which makes, which makes it mm -hmm. much easier to make. And you can, like, like, like we're doing, having several different types. Yes, I love it. Okay. So Should I add a little bit more sriracha to this? Or this no, is fine? that's good. Just want to taste it, make sure it's seasoned. Woo. A little salt. Why am I always afraid to taste <laughs> the food when I'm cooking? I don't know why. Make sure it tastes seasoned. So what am I tasting for? Just, just a little salt. Make sure it's seasoned with salt. I think it can use a little bit more, a little heat. It possibly can. All right. So we're going to add a little salt, more salt in there. And you're going to do the same with your conch. My hand heavy, so, so I hate to. So we're going to get started on that. Okay, so but we're doing the same thing with the conch with the yes. sriracha. Okay. And I'm going to check our rice. With the rice, you want to check the grains, make sure that... And rice is more a hand thing. You're going to feel the texture with your hand. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's cooked, so you're going to taste a little bit. See if it's cooked. And I think it's ready. Okay. So we're going to get our vinegar ready for that. Just a minute or All two. All right, so doing the same thing here now with the yep. conch. I love this easy, simple uh, yes. recipe we got going on here. I try to keep it simple. Especially for persons who are doing sushi for the first time. Yeah. The sriracha sauce is somewhat of a standard, like a staple. Mm -hmm. And you just want to mimic the ingredients and use those as a base. So you don't have to make all sorts of different sauces, but you still have a variety to offer your guests. Yeah. Awesome. All right. A little bit of scallions over her. So what's your favorite type of sushi to make and or eat? My favorite type I love is shrimp tempura. Mm. I really like the shrimp, but like I said, I always try to give it a little twist with the with the conk, with the crack conk roll. Uh-huh. I try to give it a little a little bohemian pow. Yeah. But most persons they love it. I mean, I think the fare comes from everyone thinks that it's raw. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to break out of a Bahamian culture, just thinking, oh, sushi, it's, it's raw. raw. You know, get yeah. out there. Try something new. I'm sure you won't regret it. Awesome. So now, gonna... the big question, is sushi healthy? It isn't really <laughs> the a lot of people <laughs> Because when we get into the rice, the seasoning that you put, it consists of salt, sugar, mm -hmm. and those add the calories into ah, the sushi. Yes. Rice is already a heavy, a heavy yes. dish. So by adding the, like I said, sushi means vinegared rice. Uh -huh. The vinegar consists of salt, sugar, and the vinegar itself. Okay, so and what are we doing here? One second. This is uh, the tempura batter. Okay. So we just have 
the tempera mix, which is half flour, half cornstarch, and we're gonna add a little bit of club soda. Okay. Yeah. And this is for the fried? Yes, the for the tempera one. crunch. Uh -huh. And for the volcano roll, we're gonna deep fry okay. that as well. Okay, awesome. So we're just gonna add this in, and we're gonna use this as the liquid base, the club soda. And why do we use club soda? Because of the bubbles in it, it's gonna mm -hmm. give it a nice crisp, bubbly because as mm -hmm. you can see we're not using any any rising agent okay we're just using the soda kind of to aerate it and as it fries it's gonna be that nice little crisp bubbles nice airy batter we don't want it too heavy uh -huh. and that's why we use the soda to kind of lighten it up a bit okay awesome you guys so we are making sushi i'm so excited we got some conch hair we got some tuna and some crab you guys a very delicious show thank you we'll be right back <laughs> Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. We have a jam-packed show going on here today. I'm sure you can see that. We have Chef Avita in the kitchen, and she is whipping up some sushi, you guys. So we have some tuna, some conch, some crab. We have some avocado, some cucumbers. We just have so many things going on here today. And now it's time, I think, for the fun part of sushi making, the rolling. Yes. All right, so, so teach us how to roll. This is our sushi rice that we put on earlier. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's coming right out of the pan. Ain't no pot cake in here, you guys. <laughs> Normally, persons use the rice cooker, but we just use the pot, and as you can see, it's clean at the yes. bottom. So that's the, that's the type of look we're going for. And the rice itself, you can see it's 1-1. One, one. You yeah. don't want it too sticky or too clumpy. That's the vinegar itself is going to mm -hmm. add to the texture of the rice. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our vinegar. The seasoned vinegar, which is just the sugar, the salt, and the vinegar that gives the sushi rice its flavor. So what kind of vinegar do you use? We use, use rice vinegar. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so rice vinegar is made from rice wine. The mm -hmm. only difference is during the fermentation process, they add bacteria mm -hmm. that turns it into acid. So that's where you get the vinegar part of it. Instead of rice wine, it's rice wine vinegar. Okay. So we use that along with the salt and sugar to give the sushi rice its flavor and adds to its texture. Okay. So the short grain rice itself is going to make the sushi sticky and the vinegar is going to give it its flavor and further adds to the to the texture of the rice. Okay, awesome. So, I see why you said at the beginning of the show that it was so important to make sure that your rice is almost perfect. Yes. Because otherwise, if this was too soft, it would have been too mushy. Yes. With all the vinegar and all that stuff. Okay. So we want it, as you can see, like it's one, one. Yeah. And it's easy to use. So mm -hmm. we want to make sure and mix it to the point where all the rice grains is flavored with that vinegar. And that's the consistency we're mm -hmm. going for here with the sushi rice. Girl, I am impressed. How long have you been making sushi? <laughs> I've been doing it now for two years. Oh, wow. And I, I burnt plenty pots of rice on this stove, trust me. <laughs> To well, learn I mean, that's how the key to do it to anything, you know, way. you gotta sure. fail, 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 keep trying and then... All right, because the rice is somewhat at a warm temperature because of the vinegar, we're gonna get some that I already pre-made and start our rolling process. Okay, All right. perfect. Okay, you guys, so as you saw just now um, in this pan, we took our short grain rice that we boiled earlier and added in um, some, she called seasoned vinegar, which is the rice vinegar, yes. a little bit of salt. And sugar. And a little bit of sugar, okay. And typically you would let it sit on the side for a while to cool down? Yes, because the, because right. it's kind of a really, con the consistency of the rice is really hot and because we're gonna start rolling yeah. right now, we're gonna use some rice that we already prepared. So it's at a cooler temperature yes. and it's easier to handle. So make sure that you leave your rice sitting out for how long do you think? It doesn't really take long okay. because the vinegar, once the vinegar you're using isn't very, once the vinegar you're using isn't very hot, uh -huh. you can jump right into the process. Okay. So we're gonna put this at the side for a bit, but I just wanted to show you how you yes. can achieve the sushi rice. And then at the end, this is what you get out. After you let it cool down for a bit. So we're gonna now start rolling some so sushi. So what we're gonna do is start with our seaweed. We're gonna roll on this side, wet our hands a bit because we don't want the rice to stick to our hands. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna take a handful and you're gonna put it on the rice. Persons use gloves, but I like to use my hands because you can feel the texture of the rice. Yeah. So you're gonna lightly pat down onto the seaweed. And what's the seaweed for? The seaweed is to roll it. That's what you're rolling so the actual, uh -huh. se actual sushi in. And you don't want too much rice. You don't want it too clumpy. You just want the rice, right balance of rice onto the seaweed. So 
What you're going to do is use like a spreading motion uh -huh. to evenly distribute the rice onto the seaweed. You are a great teacher. Like, do you teach as no, well? No, I don't teach, but... <laughs> you are so detailed and succinct yeah, so... to the point, but you know, I'm picking up a lot as we go. So what we're going to do is, if you put a little access on, you're just going to use a little motion ah, to get the rice okay, off. Okay, awesome. And you're going to continue to wet your hands because if you don't wet it, as you can see, the rice it's is going to stick. stick. Yeah. So we don't want that. So once we have our rice on, we're going to flip it over or we're going to add our garnish. We can use a little bit of scallions, mm -hmm. a little bit of sesame seed, mm -hmm. and we're going to start off with the uh, California roll. Okay. So awesome. we're going to get our crab right on that side. So this crab here. Yes, we're gonna flip over our sushi. So we're gonna get about two to three pieces of the crab, the imitation crab meat. And Bohemians are, are they know about the crab. We use this for our crab salad. Yes. So this is more so the roll persons normally go to. So we're gonna add our avocado, crab, and cucumber, and uh -huh. we're gonna use our sushi wrap that we already pre-wrapped in, in the wax paper, so we don't really have any sticking going on. Gonna put this onto our bamboo sheet, okay. and we're gonna start our rolling process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a turning motion. This seals it in for the first time. We don't wanna press too hard because we don't wanna squash the rice. Mm -hmm. We just wanna gently tuck it in there. So we're gonna do this motion to fold it in. Ah. As you can see, it's already start forming. Look at that, okay. So we're gonna fold it another time and do another tucking motion to get it in. Mm -hmm. After you're ready to do that, you're gonna fold it one more time to seal this part. And mm. after we do that, we have our California sushi roll. Look at roll. that, guys. Just gonna tuck in the sides. We want the sides to be even. Tuck it in a bit, and we have our sushi roll. Oh, look at that, that was so easy. To cut it, you wanna make sure the knife is wet because once again, you don't want it to stick. And we're gonna cut it even into eight pieces. So we're gonna use our finger as a guide. So reach it here to say, this is the half point mark. We're gonna make a half cut. Then we're gonna cut this half and half. Then we're gonna cut this half and half. Then we're gonna cut this half and half. So you have eight mm -hmm. even pieces for your California roll. Awesome, yes. that is impressive. Like I've never seen that done, done um, like that with instructions to go along with it. That's awesome. So we got our platter here to start our plating. I'm ready to start eating, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do for our California roll. It's different ways you can plate your sushi. Let me just show, let me just show them here. Look at how easily she rolled that, and you can see everything in there. A little yes. bit of the avocado, some of that crab, of course that rice. I could feel the stick yes. that you're used to from the sushi, but it's not so bad. And we're gonna start with another roll would be the uh, the crab again, but we're gonna do a different version of it. Mm -hmm. We made it into a salad. So we're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna add our rice. When you do the rice, you're gonna look in your palm. It should be like a palm full of rice. The, the ball should fit like right in your palm. You don't mm -hmm. want too, too much rice and you don't want too little. You're gonna do a motion right in the middle of the seaweed and you have the outer layer, which you're gonna just press forward and you can press down to do, give you a little guide because uh -huh. you're gonna question, am I using too much? Yeah. Am I using too little? So that's a little technique that I learned that you use when you're making the, mm -hmm. the sushi. All right. So Chef Avito, can I start eating? Is yet? Yeah? Uh, we're gonna do a plate up of everything she and then to give we me can everything start first. digging right in. <laughs> So, like I said, for the crab roll, we're gonna use the seam technique. Okay. A little bit of, of the scallions. scallions. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna add some of our crab salad that, mm -hmm. Let me get that you, you made. And we're not gonna put any cucumber or anything inside because the salad itself is gonna give it the flavor. Yeah. And we're gonna finish it with a little tempura crunch. And that's where we're gonna add our mango reduction. Oh yes, that's what we made a little early, you guys, where we uh, uh, blended down some slices of mango and then we put it in the pot with some uh, jalapeno Jalapenos. peppers and a little bit of water, some sugar, and just let that reduce yes. down. Okay. So we're gonna roll it again. Awesome. Gonna wet our knife so it doesn't stick. Cut this in half. And the wetting process throughout is clearly very important. Yeah, because uh, the wetting process, what it does is that it helps the rice not to stick to your hands mm -hmm. or to stick to the knife. Mm -hmm. 
And it overall, it just helps the process go a little smoother without all the sticking yeah. going on. So we're going to rest our crab roll right here in the middle. And so gonna... guys, so far we have California roll yes. and crab roll. Yes. What next? We're going to start on the topping for the crab roll. Going to add, this is the crab mayo that we're going to put on top that was already pre-made. And this is just to torch it, to give it that nice smoky flavor. So we're going to put this on top of the, the roll. And what we're going to do is we're going to torch this with our blow torch. Okay. The blow torch really gives it a smoky kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. So once we get that going, our mango reduction, we're just going to lightly put it on Ooh. top. And then we're going to finish it off with some tempera crunch. Okay, you guys, as Chef Evita continues my sushi platter, we will come right back for the taste test. We'll be right back. So my personal sushi platter is just about done. We have, just once again, this is the California roll, right? The first one we did. Yes, this one crab. was the crab roll. And now what are you working on over there? I'm working on the tuna. And we also have our rolls that are about done now. We're going to take those out of okay. the fryer. I'm going to get that. And which one is that? That's the volcano? Yes, this is the volcano roll. It has cream cheese, cucumber, and avocado inside. You're going to drain awesome. those off. Okay. And these are the deep fried ones yes, for the scary for the people. <laughs> for the ones who don't want to go full but on with raw. the bohemian because we have the conch in it uh -huh. as well. And then this is the spicy tuna. We have the tuna tartare, cucumber inside. And I'm going to put the avocado slices, what I placed on top. Uh -huh. So I'm going to get that rolled up. And this technique, we're just going to cut it a little more gently because the avocado slices are on top. We don't want to cut it too much where it's going to slide right off. Yeah. So we're going to try to do it as gently as possible to get a clean cut. Each time we're going to wipe our knife off. Ever since I started doing the show, people have been feeding me things that I don't usually eat, but they taste so good on Chef It Up, like avocado. Yes. Can't stand them <laughs> for anything, but... All the dishes we had that included avocado is pretty We're good. Really so good. I imagine this is going to be awesome as well. Okay, so yes. Hopefully, everybody <laughs> likes it. But it looks good. I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I think it's going to be amazing. Well, everything smells good so far. So if it smells, if it tastes anything like it smells, then we in good company. All right, so we've got our spicy tuna, and now we're going to do our volcano roll. Okay, so once again, California, crab, spicy tuna. Yes. And now volcano. So with the volcano roll, we put in our tempera batter, we deep fried. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to plate it up right here. And we're going to put our conch on top. Awesome. I forgot about the conch. <laughs> Okay. This is the volcanic, volcano explosion that's going on right here. And we're going to get our blowtorch. Sorry. And torch this. Okay. Awesome. To get the sriracha for me. The sriracha. Right in the bottle. Ah, this one. Not the mayo. Torch that. Going to garnish that with a little bit of scallions. And then we're going to garnish our tuna roll with some jalapeno slices mm. and some sriracha. Give it that nice heat. Just going to do a dot on each. Give it a little pop of You're color. You're adding pepper to pepper. <laughs> Just a little for presentation. And we're done. We have our volcano roll, the spicy tuna, the crab, and the California roll. Awesome. Okay, I've been eyeing this one for forever. Yes. The, tu uh, the crab one, and so I'm just going to dig in here. And we're not doing chopsticks today, guys. We're just going to go <laughs> in, okay? So let me just... That's the little spice with the mango mm. reduction, the crunch, crab salad. This is so good. Thank you. This is so good, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Powers of flavor. It takes, I can taste the a little texture, bit of everything. The texture crunch. isn't too sticky, but it's that good, good. sushi texture. 
What should I try next? Let me go for this one. The volcano roll. Yes. Get a little bit of conk on there. As I eat, tell them where they can find you. Well, I'm home based now, and what we do is sushi on the go. So you can contact mm. our cell phone number is four six seven three five zero eight, and we go under the Lioness. Mm. Because that's our brand. We try to tie it in fair food, but still, you know, beautifully presented and most importantly, flavorful. This? Absolutely delicious. I am immensely impressed. Thank you so much for coming Thank by. Thank you for having you me. You guys, contact her for some sushi. This has been Chef It Up. We'll see you next time. All right. Girl, this tastes so good. Woo. Thank you. <laughs>